Hi folks, a lot of welcome to m and Specialty Trailers and Trucks Inc. We want to show you today a new truck that we just brought out of our brand new facility. This happens to be the first truck out of our new building. And if you've got a gander behind us, you'll see uh, we've had a little change to do it some of the other videos. We've got a very large building here that we do the trucks inside with now, we're real happy with. And this happens to be a truck that's going to New Orleans. Uh, it's a pizza chain there. The gentleman owns 26 pizza places. And He's going to market mobile. It's becoming a big item, even to the restaurant owners. And this is the truck we just finished up for, which is a new international diesel. And it is a 32 foot six truck. And it's uh, got a lot of room, and it's uh, it's quite a machine. Let's take a look at it. Since we're at the back corner here, let me just show you first. You can see the nice wrap job that we got on this thing. Uh, we worked it out with their art people and our art people, and this is what we ended up with. And this is a, an actual uh, a door here for the generator box that has a coolant that goes through as a cage. It was wrapped on the front and cut out. I've got to show you that if you can't see it. This truck is equipped with a diesel Onan generator, so it puts out plenty of power. The, the generator is running right now from the outside. This is as noisy as it gets from the outside. Inside, you came here and run. But uh, the, the generators we placed in here, they're all hooked up into the diesel fuel lines, right out of the main tank of the truck. And it's all set up with your power cords coming to your panel, coming to your generator. And then if you happen to be in an event where you can use shore power, an exterior plug-in here that you can bypass your generator, plug into a power pole, and you have permanent power based on electric served to you by an electrical company in the area. Uh, moving down through the trailer, you can see the trailer is a large, large chassis, dually wheels, and they were all polished aluminum wheels. This truck is set up with uh, the big aluminum bud wheels in the front and it's equipped with the plug-in system which keeps the oil pan you plug into a 110 outlet and it keeps your oil hot all night long if you're in freezing conditions. Well, hopefully you're not working in freezing conditions but this truck will go anywhere it needs to go. And you can see it's uh, quite a machine. Coming around to the passenger side which is usually from the layout is to where our concession window is, is located. Before we get back to the concession, this is your fresh water fill for your fresh water tank. If you have a water source on your site, this is to hook up, put your water hose to this, and then you won't need to be operating your pump or water, water tank inside. You can use hookup or you can use it without a hookup with your pump inside and your water tank. Whenever it has a waste tank down below, if you've got water, you want to drain it for the testing, you simply pull the knob, and that's just a little fresh water we ran through the system. You can see that is, that is how you get it out. Shut the valve off, it's a regular RV type dumping station, and uh, it should do the job. Uh, coming back through the truck, the outside serving tray, as we have them, are as such, like on our other trailers, they're going to put a wrap on the face of this to match the rest of the trailer. RV doors, right here it opens up, it's locked off. And at this time, if this truck is getting ready to pull out, and head for New Orleans. So we'll see it at the, uh, at the game. Coming around the back, we have two 100 pound tanks. And the only thing that these tanks are serving is the pizza ovens. There are two pizza ovens in there, and we'll go inside and you'll see them. And these 100-pound tanks are strictly for the pizza ovens. They come into a 10-pound regulator, hold the volume through a three-quarter pipe, and then there's a half-pound regulator at the exit in front of the, to bring it to the right pressures at the oven. But uh, we got double valves so you can run the tanks together to get additional pressure or run them one at a time based on the gas issues of the of the pizza oven. But we build the tank racks, the truck is wrapped, the back doors are functional, and uh, it's quite a truck. And so uh, let's go inside and look at this truck and see what it has, see what it looks like. Alright folks, we've now stepped into the back of the uh, truck. 
and we'll just start at the rear since we came in the back door we'll work our way up through the truck and show you what's inside here. Uh, as you know after seeing the exterior is a uh, Rotolo pizza truck and inside this trailer you have to my right here you have the counter serving counter and you have a six foot window. The outside flip up door is closed at this time but that's the window with three serving stations. Uh, to my left this is the generator box underneath it, which we incorporated into a counter space. And your generator, which you've seen from the outside, is in this box. The generator is running at this time. I'm talking in a normal manner. The generator is just a light hum. You can't really hear it running. The generator is a Onan diesel, so it does a fine job. The service panel is here to my left. The service panel is a full 100 amp service panel. It has a dual set of mains that when you flip to the side, it's generator, and if I flip to the other breaker and this one off, it's shore power, which we showed you the plug on the outside. Besides your panel, you have a automatic start for your diesel generator from inside the trailer, and which makes it pretty convenient. And as we move up through the trailer, we have another prep top refrigerator. This full top is the work area, plus it's a double door refrigerator system. Your, to the right again, at the end of your concession, we come out with a wider table to give a bigger work table. Pizza, this type of operation requires a lot of prep, and we have a lot of table space. As we have an additional table at the end of our pizza oven. You can see the pizza oven basically will be pizzas prepped at the other end, come through off these conveyors, boxed here, or here, down to the wind and out. And that's basically the principle. As Richard backs up, we can show you what's in the front of the truck, or I'll change places, he can come around. Richard, back up where I can see the back of this oven here as a shot from the rear. So you can see what we were talking about. As he backs up to the door where I was, you can see that the pizza oven is setting out here, the hood is out here. Uh, this has a four conveyor system. You can run four conveyors at one time here with pizzas. The unit has an air conditioner on this end and an air conditioner on this end. It's twin AC and it's set up with three four foot fixtures. Uh, it's a nice oven, the Dan a Mantec oven system. An overhead, this is a hood, it's not a grease hood, it's a heat exhaust hood for taking the heat out of the air. The system also has the ansel on it and the spray heads are beside every conveyor on every level to put out any type of emergency fire system because there is a gas burner to the unit. All right, coming on forward, the prep area is a large prep, which you're used to seeing, which has all of the prep items in these containers that are all refrigerated. And it's all refrigerated along with refrigeration underneath it. So this is your Corian prep table for putting your pizza together and putting them right on the conveyor and away they go. To, to behind me to meet the health code, we need a hand sink with a shield. Then you got your three bay sink here, which we've got some things set on it for shipping, but uh, I'll see if I can show you this. Uh, three bay sink is all set up here. So it's on the side, which gives them the three bay sink, gives them the hand sink for cleanup and whatever. And your holding tank is here, your hot water tank is below it, your pump system is below it and your outside feeds, which we showed you on the outside where the hookups are. Then, all but not least, there's a large, well, it's locked. We just, the truck is sitting in our driveway, ready to ship. It's leaving for New Orleans in about when he's trying to throw us out now. So, it's on the way. This truck will be at the Saints-Jaguar game on Friday night in New Orleans. So, they're anxious to drive it there and get set up. But this is a complete freezer system here, large freezer, which they use a refrigeration underneath the freezer system here. And uh, it makes a pretty nice truck. This door here, as you can see, is the door that takes you to the cab, which we can grow. Which is sitting here, the diesel is also running. The uh, AC is on up here. This is a very nice truck. This is a new international diesel, and it's pretty well equipped. But, uh, it just shows you this is kind of like the, the high end of the ladder, but uh, we'll build whatever we need from the smallest to the largest and make them all work. The whole key is you got to make money. So let's, uh, I guess we pretty well got it, and let's wish the guy goodbye, and uh, come on down and see us, and uh, we can build you anything, uh, any size. This gives you a little example of kind of like the first pizza oven we did. 
I didn't mention the interior. This is that new product we use now. It's an all seamless, all screwless interior wall system. It's all washable, all aluminum mill finish, and uh, makes a real nice job. You see no, no fasteners except the only thing we build these corners. We run the wire chases and everything in, and we'll have some screws in the corners, but that's it. And uh, well, we hope you like the, the truck. We sure got a kick out of it. It also has a complete vinyl floor system over a underlayment wood floor on top of the aluminum deck. So it's cushioned. Uh, the adhesive goes to the subfloor properly, and we kind of makes it a nice area to mop and clean out. Under your oven, you might have noticed, or maybe not, we did a diamond where the oven set. We did a diamond plate floor for moving the wheels around a little easier, not leaving imprints in the line. It's a very heavy oven. It's a 1,300 pound oven system. So that's about it, and uh, we're pretty proud of this one. This is a, a nice one. We can't wait to see it at the game. So if you're in New Orleans. Go to the Saints game, you're going to see Bertolo's Pizza Truck. They're going to be there. They do all the, they've got restaurants inside the stadium, and this will be out there where you can get to it somewhere. I don't know where you are. I'm going to go to New Orleans and find out. See you later.